Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Alan Wake 2, where the man himself, Mr. Alan Wake, has finally emerged from the dark. Or have we perhaps uh, joined him in the dark? I'm like 90% sure that we're in the real world. But who's to say? Uh, because things are strange and different uh, wherever we go. So who's to say what's real and what is not? Oh, boy. Um, there was a lot of, uh, pretty grisly stuff to see around here, um, but we need to continue investigating this, uh, this area that was flooded before, because we expect that there are going to be a number of clues that will, uh, that were previously inaccessible that will now, uh, perhaps present themselves. And then after that, we can go ahead and escort Alan back to civilization, back to Deerfest, as a matter of fact, in uh, in Bright Falls. Um, so where exactly are we walking right now? We're walking back towards, okay, this lower area here, back towards the overlap. I see. Okay. Well, hopefully, uh, this uh, this is worth our time. I would like a couple extra clues before returning back to uh, our, our sort of base camp that we've established in the uh, the Bright Falls Lodge, among other places over there. So, um, alright, what do we have here? Another page. Nightingale in the Dark Place. We should probably take a quick look at this. Uh, here we go. He'd been on the trail of the writer forever. The writer he despised. Hemingway. Bukowski. Wake. I'll get you. I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. He descended into the tunnels from the dark city into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Something. A presence rumbled. Not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The writer's cult waited for him there. The cult of the word. A cultist leaned close. I carry his words close to my chest now. You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. He'd be caught. Murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. He was reborn out of hate. He was there, but he was risen. Sent to find the light switch up from the lake that was not the lake. So, Nightingale's... Established purpose now, it would seem, would be to find the uh, the clicker, which I, I vague recollection of that that was of some importance to Alan Wake in the first game as a way that uh, he would deal with the dark, the literal dark, as a child, right? And his mother gave him that little light switch, I think, that the clicker. Um, but now it seems like the dark knows that it's uh, you know important, important enough to send some goons after it. Remember Ohio? Sure. The North Side Slasher. But that case was completely different. Hash slinging slasher? Slash slinging slasher? Oh man. Quick turn by pressing S twice. The fact that I have to quick turn is already creeping me out, you know? I don't want to have to do that. Alright, nothing seems to have changed here that I could tell. Uh-oh. Alright, let's reload. Oh, God! <laughs> Alright. We should probably heal. Don't forget to ha use safe havens to hide and receive healing. Which is what this is, right? Even the animals are turning into monsters. I do not care for that. Whatsoever. Um, 
All right, so we came from wh what what direction did we come from? We came from the witch sign. Okay, got it. So if we turn this way, I think. Yeah, so that that's going to get us I think to where we want to investigate now. Oh yeah, I think so. Oh, there's a few things here to look at. Okay. Another page. That one is Saga Burns Away the Dark Substance. Ooh, there's arrows. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Another cache. Okay. Some folding chairs. Interesting that these uh, arrows are extremely like responsive to light. We should probably take a quick look at the... This, where's the new manuscript that we just picked up? Uh, right there. Back at the witch's ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange dark substance. The same substance Nightingale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter, to burn it away. Sort of a confirmation of the mechanic that we've been using so far. Huh. What is it? Oh. Streamside stash key. Uh, interesting. Where is do we, is that labeled somewhere? Streamside. Maybe it's maybe it's this. Oh, streamside. That's an actual place. It's not okay. So it's descriptive and it's also purposeful. So we need to go straight and then to the left. I see. So all of this gray stuff is unexplored. And that, that's what we're accomplishing right now. I didn't realize the gray denoted uh, unexplored specifically. But good to know. Now it looks like the wolves we can just straight up shoot, right? Oh, uh, speaking of which, we should probably go ahead and heal up. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, they packed quite a punch. But, um... Yeah, I guess... I guess that if, it, if they're humanoid, then you have to burn the darkness away. The wolves, not so much. Today's catch, a yellow perch and a mid-sized pike. Almost caught a lake trout, but it gave me the slip. Saw an out-of-towner walking around in the woods just before sunrise. Had binoculars or a telescope or something. Taking notes. Didn't notice me. Good. Don't need the attention. Today's catch, just an old rubber boot. Some of the regular creepies roaming around again. Avoided them as usual. No one notices a quiet old fisherman. Not even the fish. Looks like, um... The out-of-towner was binoculars or a telescope? So either... Huh. I'm trying to figure out who that would be. Would that be one of the, the cultists? Uh, up here to the left. Got it. Or it's got to be somebody on the ins... Uh, like... Somebody who was who knew that Nightingale was going to be here, right? I assume that's what that means. Somebody who had enough presence of mind to uh, plan for Nightingale's return. There's something written here. A poem or a riddle. Oh, I see. Nursery rhymes? Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. 
One for bird, uh, one for one bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a struggle, five birds for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever it may be. One bird for light. All right, there's light. Two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a struggle, five for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending. Um, okay, interacting with these doesn't do anything specifically, it looks like. I guess if I had a... Maybe there are items around here that I, that I need to stick on these symbols. That's the only thing I can think. Is there any footage here that I can snag? Uh, oh, is it, it's an FBC, uh, huh. Interesting. Okay, well, a crow doll, that's probably something that needs to be put on here, right? I assume one bird for light. So what if I threw threw a crow doll doll on here? Something feels different. I should look around. Oh, you came to give me a little Charm. gift. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Okay, charms have various benefits. Equip huh. them by. That was. Oh. Okay. Did I get get him? I don't like that. They're coming from over here. Behind the tree. Oh god. Alright. Sheesh. Alright. Uh heal. Should, maybe maybe should heal again, because we've got enough of those. Um that's number three. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Alright. So charms of various benefits, equip them by placing them in the charm slot in the inventory. So, um, that is here. Attacks stagger enemies more often. So there we go. So this one increases max health. This is for stagger. Got it. Okay. So the birds will bring me stuff, I guess. Can I... I bet you I'll find more of these. So I I have one doll, but I'm sure if I find two, then I can find this again at some point, or maybe come back here and put two of them down, and then new stuff will happen. So the FBC was here, probably in, maybe investigating. Uh, well, I guess Cauldron Lake specifically, but I wonder if these crows are like objects of power, you know? All right, anyway. Keep on keeping on. We're going to we're going to conserve some of our shotgun ammo since we've got more uh more handgun stuff to use at the moment. Looks like there's a little cash here for us to pick up. Does this not work? Shortcut key, stream side cash key. Huh. Okay, clearly we missed something. Maybe we'll maybe we'll get it on the way back. So what are we he heading into? Uh private cabin. Oh, there's there's a locked container here. Okay. Screwdriver? Is there a screwdriver? Oh, maybe the screwdriver is inside here. Maybe it's showing me what the reward is going to be. I don't know. I'm looking around. I don't see anything on the ground. 
Uh, so anyway, so we're going to go straight, and left is the Witchfinder Station, the right is the Private Cabin. Got it. So I say we probably go right first. There's another locked box. No, that doesn't work. Can I actually go in there? Maybe there's a maybe there's an actual like cache in there. Uh, no, actually, I can't go that way. Okay, never mind. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. What? Did I not burn the darkness away? Oh god. How many hits does this guy take? Alright. Goodness gracious, these guys take so many hits to take down. That's insane, actually. Alright. Uh, yeah, I think we better go shoddy. We better heal up. I've got to get better at dodging these. Like, these guys should not be doing as much damage to me as they are. It's a little scary, actually. Alright, so we're officially out of healing, except for the big healing. So, yeah. Got plenty of battery packs, though, and some shotgun ammo. But I guess that's the trade-off, right? Oh, they dropped some stuff, actually. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What did you give me? More handgun ammo. Okay, so never mind. So let's switch back to the handgun. In that case. Okay. But we are, as I said, officially out of healing. Uh, you know what? I never actually tried going up here first. Is this... Where is this taking me to? Kind of hard to see. Alright, may maybe we should do this area first on the ground where these guys spawned, and then we'll go up. There's so much to explore, I, I wasn't expecting all of that. Okay. What is this symbol? Huh. Oh. Six plus... T Wait. Okay, I feel like this is a puzzle where I need to line some stuff up. So six plus two. It says this is saying what seven? Let's go up and get a closer look. Oh. Six plus Plus two. A locked box. Plus three. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Rock, rock, tree. Are you bright enough? Let's take a look and see what 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 our options are. So just a it's a combo zero through nine lock. Okay. Rock, rock, tree. Are you bright enough? So there's the tree. Are you bright enough means... So whatever the number on the rock is... Okay. 
So the first number on the on the rock is what number is this? I see that there's a number. <laughs> it's hard to tell what this number is though. Is that a is that a 3? Okay, I've looked it up. Apparently this is some sort of visual bug because this is meant to be a minus 2. <laughs> So, a 7 minus, you'll have to take my word for it, that this is a 2. That would be a 5. That one up there would be uh, 3 plus 3 is 6, 5, 8, right? Or 5, 6, 8. Not sure which rock we would be counting first. So, 6, 5, five 6, 8. So, let's try 6, 5, 8. Eight. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Very, very weird how um, it the, that that two didn't really show up that well. Are you one of us or one of them? Probably one of them, if I'm honest. Nice expansion to our inventory. We got a what is that? A fire extinguisher and another one of those. Cool. 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 At some point, we should probably go into our mine palace and uh go through some of the clues we've we've found but I'm okay with us just uh boogieing straight up to the Witchfinder station. Actually let's read read a little bit about this. From Alaska to British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, and all the way down to California, the Pacific Northwest spans over a diverse range. Here you will find fifty nine threatened or endangered species of plants and animals, including the mighty orca and wild gray wolves. The Pacific Norton's ecosystems are wonderfully diverse. They include mountain areas like the Cascades and Olympic Ranges, as well as the dense forests around them. In the west, there are several islands and dry desert plateaus cover the east. Some of the wildlife calling the Pacific Northwest their home are robins and seagulls, squirrels and otters, cougars and deer, coyotes, coons, salmon, and blue herons. The marshes and ponds of this area host an impressive variety of fauna, but majestic trees like the black cottonwood, big leaf maple, and Oregon ash thrive in the wetlands too. It is truly the nature lover's paradise. And it is incredibly beautiful, I agree, no matter how terrifying it may also be. You know, it's not the nature's fault, let me say. Alright, that's how we would get back down there. We're up to a little bit of light here with the Witch Finders Station. All right, let's go over here in this in the side area first. The murder sites. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by a repeated dark lord tied to a location. At a counterpoint, a work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place. Connect the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest, two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition, a haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub, twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror, arcs established through reality, or stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex, and the art... The map became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it where they overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. So the overlap... Yeah, repeated Dark Lord tied to a location. So because the narrative repeatedly referenced a specific place... That gave the, uh, it thinned the reality enough to create that, uh, that bridge. Thanks a lot, Alan Wake. Another right. one of those rhymes. More FBC stuff. The hero brave and strong left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find the thing she'd loved most. So, 
I do have this crow doll. And I don't want to summon a wolf, but I think I might <laughs> potentially. Hero, brave, and strong. So we have a tree, a egg, candy, an eye, and a boat. Interesting. Left home to right. Wrong from the woods. That would be the woods. Came a wolf so greedy that he ate what he found in the house. Probably candy. So, okay. So the hero, brave and strong, left home to right a wrong. That would be this, right? The, the boat. From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry. This would summon a wolf, I'm sure. That he ate what he found in the house without a host. I guess this candy. The hero returned to find she, the thing she, she lost the thing she loved the most. Which is... Okay. I'm th I think I'm going to put it on the boat. Did that do anything? Hmm. Maybe not. Alright, well, we should go into the house at least. And maybe there's another doll in there. Or maybe it's warning us that there's a... There's a wolf in here. Possible. Oh, a little Bullwinkle doll. It's very cute. Username. Oh, God. 2547. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> you gotta love people putting their passwords in plain sight. Uh, experiment updates from Dr. Campbell to Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont. Here is the promised uh, update on the first project's first experimentations. The test items used were plastic animal figurines, teddy bears, toy cars, baby dolls. The iconographic nature of the test items was, that hypoth was hypothesized to be beneficial for these research purposes. Test results negative. I will continue testing with more advanced items and scenarios. No response from you is necessary. Dr. Eugene Campbell, PhD lead researcher, Department of Parafictional Research. So we have the FBC to thank. I have received uh, your favorable review of my project proposal. Thank you. I need not remind you that academic as well as recreational expertise in mythology, folklore, and writing indeed lend the needed credibility to the project in both leading it and creating testing material. So project working line, uh, project uh, nursery rhymes is the FBC's way of, I don't know, using narratives and figurines to summon something. I don't know what. More toys in here. There's more of those dolls. Okay. Pizza boxes. Guess somebody's del been delivering the pizza. That's good. All right, thanks a lot, FBC. Spooky old house full of kids' toys, huh? All right, duffel bag, um, a report. Objective, research into the reality, altering effects discovered in the Cauldron Lake area, utilizing fiction and art as a source, and then manifesting the results into existence. Methodology, the FBC's intent in this research project is to experiment with nursery rhymes, here and after referred to as fiction, in an attempt to recreate the conditions under which the writing would become reality. Oh, I see. The hypothesis is that there are two ways in which fiction affects reality. Either by reflecting events that have come to pass, but that are not known to their later creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes a catalyst for these past events, after which they serve as a source of as the source of their own inspiration, or by the fiction itself being the initiating force in its present timeline using the creator as a conduit. 
In this experiment, we will, re we will create nursery rhyme text with a specific function and then use the depicted dolls and symbols as needed via a careful testing process with the purpose of the story told in the fiction manifesting itself in real life. A variety of combinations involving the dolls, symbols, and rhymes will be tested in order to collect large amounts of data with the hope that a pattern will appear. Methods will be adjusted in the testing based on our results. So long story short, the FBC knows Alan Wake has some way of affecting reality through its writing, but it's like a chicken under the egg, right? Are the nursery rhymes or, or the writing just writ large? Is that creating it, or is the writer somehow... Pre, uh, you know, writing preemptively of something that's to come. Like, which which is it first? All right, hero doll. So that will be one of the things we have to throw on the uh, the thing outside. Test sites, uh, location arrangements. Which finder station two streamside one cauldron lake rental cabins one. So we already found st the streamside one, I think. And the two Witchfinder Station ones are in here as well. So uh, I should probably go into my Mind Palace soon. Oh, and there's a wolf doll. Okay. So we've got a number of the, uh, the toys that we need to recreate the rhyme, right? So we got the crow, we got the hero, we got the wolf. Got it. I'm not sure what the other players in the, the story are. Is this bathroom? Yeah. Cool. Good to know that there's facilities in here for our hardworking FBC researchers. All right. I assume that's everything in here. So, oh, hello there. Bad for these guys. Hello there, dear. All right. Well, hopefully we're we're buying some goodwill. The deer by uh, by petting them. All right. So that said something about the wolf coming out of the woods. So we should be careful in case that becomes a reality, which I expect we will make it a reality. But first, let's go into our mind palace and go through all the various and sundry uh, clues that we found. Case closed. Nightingale goes missing for thirteen years. Shows up murdered and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? I killed Nightingale. I had to. He was a monster. The flooding around Cauldron Lake receded afterward. Nothing about this makes rational sense. We found Alan Wake, a rider missing for 13 years at the shore of the lake. Hopefully he can shed some light on this. All right. Oh, there is so much here. All right. The uh, the lunchbox. This is another one that we found here in the Cauldron Lake. There was a page of a story inside, but this is definitely not like the other pages I've been finding. Fan fiction? Question mark. Yeah. Um, all right. We'll save that for last. The cult stash near the Cauldron Lake. Here we are. Is the note inside to scare people off? Do they expect people to break into these? Uh, let's see. We'll do the Cult of the Tree next. Nightingale spoke in excerpts from the pages. So... What would that be? Writing part of the ritual, I guess? Yeah. The other Taken were speaking strangely, too. The pages are clearly connected, but how? And then last but not least, Project Nursery Rhyme, courtesy of the FBC. Creepy dolls. Mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Holy moly. Okay. Look at all these clues. <laughs> all right, so... Strange dolls, cauldron lake rhymes, bright fall rhymes. What are these who made them? All right, so first of all... Wolf doll used to solve uh, Makes sense. the puzzle. Has a pretty good paint job. Nice detail. FBC file listing test sites in Cauldron Lake. The site locations are Witchfinder Station, Streamside, and Cauldron Lake rental cabins. 
hero doll used to solve the rhyme puzzle. Throw that one up there. Is that foil lining? Someone put in a lot of effort. Uh, an FPC file on the reality altering effects of the nursery rhymes. So there we go. So the FBC is researching how fiction affects reality. Sounds familiar. An email from the author of the rhymes, Dr. Eugene Campbell. The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. Yeah. To see if the they have power to affect the future. We are weird, yeah. Parafictional research. Yep, that's clear enough. FBC meddling. Reenacting the rhyme made the environment change. So, this one, I guess? Nope. Here we go. Completing the puzzle made the world change. What's going on? We know what's going on. A charm appeared at the site of the rhyme, which is good for us. Uh, rhyme found at the bridge near Cauldron Lake. That would be this one up here. About counting crows, each number of crows has a different meaning. The crow doll goes up there. Kind kind of reads more like an owl to me. <laughs> I could see that. It's all in the, the nose. Uh, found a strange rhyme with sheet of paper, etc., etc. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, there was another... Radio thing. Okay, I think that's everything. Boy, that, that that is a whole lot going on here. Let me just double check my cases. I think we're good at the moment. So, I'm not 100% sure. Let, let's read the rhyme again. So, we have the hero. We have the wolf. The hero, brave and strong, left home... To right a wrong. So here, I guess we put the hero. Yeah. Nope. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house that the uh House without a host. So here we put the wolf, I assume. I have a weird feeling something's changed. Uh oh. What is this? Means that the wolf is inside, right? So do we need to go fight the wolf? Oh, This is pretty tight. Oh shit. Oh, uh, that wasn't supposed to Another Okay. charm for my bracelet. Huh. Okay. I was I was spamming the light cuz I assumed that we would need to kill the kill like a wolf that spawned, but still will but not yet and then so what so what would did it say what was the fit what was the rhyme do I just oh I just pick everything up and take them with me okay so I, I got everything that I needed to so what was the charm that I got Coffee mug charm saves you from death, but shatters in the process. Oh, I see. Well, we don't need to equip that right now. Yeah, because it's, if it's a one-use item, then I don't want to use that right now. At the moment. But very cool. Very interesting. Um, classic FBC. I guess we can go ahead and throw on the last, the last thing here. Dark substance appeared when the rhyme was completed. Um, there we are. Looks like a trail doesn't want me to follow. And then this one 
goes there. The hero of the rhyme left her child unprotected. That's not like, like me. I left my kid. We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Okay. Hey, hey it's nice. That's that's nice to know that we are, are officially done. All right, how do we get to there from here? The car, where did I park even? Oh, all the way over there. All right, so I think I need to go to the right. Or maybe I could follow the stream through. I'm not sure. I kind of want to try that. I kind of want to try following the stream this this see if it gets me to my car. Oh, great. Still can't use this cash. Oh. Maybe I've not been back here before. Might have been a waste of ammo. <laughs> Just a birdhouse. Okay. I thought maybe if I could knock it off, then it might be a, a cache that I needed. But maybe not. All right, so we're going to go up here, and we're just going to follow this through as far as it takes to the thing. Yeah, I've got the right general direction. So from here, I just go straight, turn right, and there's a little shortcut, it looks like, on the left. Oh, no. I see. The, the red on the there's an obstruction there. Okay. So... Um, so how do I get back out there? Do I need to go all the way? Or... Okay, I'm confused now. Red is an obstruction, right? So I need to go back. Do I need to go all the way around? No, I just go to the murder site. Okay, so I go straight... Turn left, turn left again. Yeah, there's a guy in there. What? 
working. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. I don't know why it's not working on him. I'm I'm burning my flashlight. It's very weird. Alright, we're make, we're in a hot exit here, uh partner. Our friends at the station here? Hello? Clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted to a transmitter that is not one of ours. I fix it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigations department. Leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix this thing. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may want to put more secure metal casing around the whole thing so that raccoons can't get to it anymore. Stephen Warning. Lynn. Activity detected. A W E. Altered. Progress. Altered, altered world break. event, right? What's an A W E? Casey, what exactly does the FBC do? <sighs> After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? Yeah, no coincidence. Alright, well that took longer than I anticipated, but... We found some weird stuff here, Casey. You ready to go? Yeah, I reckon. All right, let's get out of here. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you see anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's, uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Uh oh. Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Oh no! Tell her you, tell her yourself. That that's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. <laughs> Cause Logan drowned in another reality, right? In the in the other reality that the 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 diner attendant referred to, right? So, it sounds like foreshadowing to me. Is 
Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember it's... It's, it's a crazy jumble, like a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Auntie the janitor. Thing. Hmm, there's another reference. Okay, is this a flashback? It must be. Oh, here we go. Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Yeah, well, at least they done the show. Was that at least they put uh, good snacks here. All right, well, I think we're going to call it here. We're going to stay here in the green room for now. But when we come back, it is time to be in the driver's seat with Alan Wake for the first time. Isn't this exciting? The namesake of the game <laughs> we're playing. Uh, I'm loving this so far. Obviously, I'm loving Saga's storyline, too. But, yeah, thank you, Alan. So, when we come back, uh, let us continue unraveling this mystery. Obviously, Scratch being the, the evil alter ego of Alan Wake seems to have escaped. And uh, we will see what becomes of that in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.